For my good friend who emailed me the other day, you know who you are. This one is for you. I received an email from someone the other day and they had said they had appreciated my YouTube channel and, and appreciated my, my website and um, you know thought about, hey, well, what do you think? Like, it doesn't feel like people on our side of things are getting organized and um, you know, what do you think about that? Maybe we should do that. And uh, appreciated the reach out. And I thought, well, what does that mean for, for you or me or, or someone to, to get organized? What, what, what does that mean? And I think it means the same thing it's always meant, which is you should train with a couple people that you know that live in your area and, and continue to be proficient in the things that we've all said you should be proficient in, right? So you should learn to shoot guns. You should learn to do it safely. Um, you should learn to do basic fire and maneuver stuff. Um, and if you're like, oh, I don't even know where to start with that, I have a bunch of books on this channel that I've reviewed that'll tell you all about it. So go ahead and read those and, and you can figure it out. I, I just think, you know, I'm personally never going to get organized with someone that I've met over the internet, right? Like that's, <laughs> that feels like an FBI entrapment scheme. I don't know what that is. I don't know where that's going, but I would not ever feel comfortable doing that. Um, you probably wouldn't either. So, you know, what, again, what, what are you supposed to do about that? And I think it means, hey, you, you have a couple of local friends that you've known for a while that you're able to practice this stuff with. And if you're like, listen, Dylan, I have nobody. It's literally just me. The only time I ever see anybody like-minded is when I go to gun classes. Um, I admit that's tough, okay? And I'm sure there are people out there like that. And, and I have sympathy for you because that, that's tough. And I would tell you to, you know, join a IDPA shooting league. Um, or USPSA or something like that. And, and that's where you're gonna be able to meet some people that are, that are more like-minded and, and that you could hang out with and train with. You know, even if you're just hanging out and, and you're slaying targets with them um, and working on your US, uh, USPSA match times are better, or even if you're just hanging out with them and working on your USPSA times and courses and stuff like that, that's still something. That, that's still progressing in the right direction. Uh, so, I just want you to know that if you're out there and you're like, I feel alone and I don't feel like I have anyone to actually practice this stuff with, I have sympathy for you and I hear you. And I think the best thing for you to do is to try to meet some people and, and then try to work on stuff like that. And that just takes time uh, and, and you know, months, years of, of time to getting to know people and, and working on stuff like that and practicing on stuff like that. And in the meantime, you just continue to practice your individual skills and get proficient at that. I don't think this is anything mind-blowing. I, I don't think there's, there's anything new here. Just that we need to be hanging out with people and practicing to be good. This is a gun channel, right? Uh, we, we talk about guns here. We talk about shooting guns well here. So continue to do that and, and do it with friends and people that you've known for a while that you can practice together and have some proficiency together. There's a certain synergy that comes when you're, you're able to fight as a team. And, and that's just a wonderful, beautiful thing. So embrace your American heritage to its fullest extent, practice with some friends, get better. Do brave deeds and endure.